This is a much requested video from you all, and that is a how to on how do I get velvet matte skin if I have dry skin. And today I'm going to show you guys some tips and techniques from a professional makeup artist of 25 years and from somebody who has dry skin and who is in their 40s. So let's get started with this how to. I'm getting over a bit of a cold, so I'm coughing quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do today for this how-to is I'm going to do a voiceover. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comment box below. Starting with Peter Thomas Roth eye patches. These are incredible for plumping fine lines or deeper set lines and wrinkles. And then I'm gonna add my hydrating jasmine water mist. I like to put this on first to really hydrate the skin and then when it's nice and dewy, I will grab the patches and I like to place them under the eyes and let them sit for a good amount of time to really plump up that under eye area. Onto my favorite prep product of 2022, the Chantecai Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint and a couple drops of the Blanc Oil by Chanel. I like to first put the oil in my hand and warm it up and then pat it into the skin doing a nice little massage. Grabbing now the Chantecaille Rose Glow Face Tint, I will put that right on top. It's very important if you have dry skin to make sure you have a nice hydrating base before we create a matte complexion. Peeling off the eye patches now. Ooh, look at how nice and tight those under eyes are. Using the Givenchy Everwear Foundation. This is a demi-matte foundation. We're going to grab just a bit of this and we're going to stripe it on the face. I like to start in the center and work outward. Using a sponge, I'm tapping the foundation into the skin. This is an important makeup technique because what this does is it helps the foundation to look natural as well as help with longevity. It just creates a nice flawless finish and it really helps to create the matte complexion that we are looking to attain. Using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I'm gonna take a couple of dots and put it around the eye area on the inner corner, cheekbones, brow, sides of the nose, and chin, and on the center of the forehead. Using the same tapping motion, I'm going to cover redness around the nose and highlight the high points of the face. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm going to use it to tap in the concealer around the eyes. We have heat and oil in our fingers so it helps to warm up those pigments. Using the NARS bronzer in San Juan with my Tom Ford brush, I'm placing that on the outer edge of the cheek to add some warmth to the complexion. And then I'm going down the center of the face around the nose and then working that onto the forehead to create a nice C shape around the outer edge of the face and onto the jawline. Using my MAC 217 brush and the same bronzer, I'm going to put that on the brow ridge and on the outer corner. This will help to warm up the eyes and do a subtle lift. It also creates definition for around the nose area. Add a little bit to underneath the nose to shorten the nose Adding to the bridge of the nose between my eyes, I'm trying to soften the prominent bridge of the nose. So the center that I'm pointing to here, I'm trying to pull it back into space to create a little more depth. I'm also contouring underneath the lip area and adding a little bit more of a hollow to create a nice chiseled cheek. Adding that same color to the chin to create some definition around that chin area as you can see that's more round and this is more sculpted adding my ysl blush from a few seasons back it's a beautiful coral i'm adding this to the apples of the cheeks using my tom ford brush and i am lightly popping it on the cheeks and then blending it adding a little to that brow ridge as well as my forehead to create a harmonious color story I love adding peach to the lids. It really brightens that eye area. Now on to the powder. Using Louboutin face powder with my large Tom Ford brush, I am very lightly sweeping this all over the face, even a little under the eyes and onto the neck. And here we have the complexion. Onto the eyes now using the NARS liquid liner. I'm going to create a nice dramatic wing. I'm working this onto the outer edge first 
and then I'm going to lightly sharpen that point and then start to bring it inward and do a very, very thin line from the center and outward. As you can see here, I am doing the same technique. I'm creating that line, working it inward. I will sharpen the tip of that point and then bring it to the center and a little on the inner corner to create length. Underneath the lash line, this just helps to make sure there's no gaps. Now look one is more dramatic. I extended that wing outward and look two, I did a shorter version for those of you that want something more natural. Rawr, compared to something a little more innocent and sweet. Using the Victoria Beckham Brightening Eye Pencil, I love that this is in a nude color compared to a white. It's softer for everyday looks and it really does brighten the eyes up. On to my favorite lip liner, which is by Chanel. It's a wax base. This is in the color Rose Natural. And I love these because the wax in these helps to keep fine lines in check, meaning when you go to put your lipstick on, it helps the lipstick not move up and around the outer edges, creating bleeding. I like to use this lip liner also on my cheeks because it helps to stain the cheek area and create a nice, beautiful, natural rose flush. On to one of my favorite lipsticks for 2022, the Clay de Poe. I love this color. It is beautiful for cheeks and for lips. Creamy, hydrating, comfortable, long wear lipstick that really makes the lips look much fuller. Using my MAC 217, I'm going to grab the Lisa Eldridge palette and I'm going to place this light matte peach all over the lower lid to brighten and open the eye area. Here we have the eyes. And here's the full face, a matte complexion. Now I have truly dry skin. I'm in my 40s. I used to say I'm combination dry. I'm definitely in the dry zone, especially during winter. I had to put serums and moisturizers and hydrating masks and oils on my face just to get to like a normal skin texture. For those of you that have reached out consistently this last couple of years saying, is it possible for me to do a matte complexion if I have dry skin? Absolutely. Now, if you have oily skin, this is definitely made for you. Combination, same, but dry, of course you could do this look too. Just make sure you hydrate really well beforehand. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. I try to throw as many tips and techniques as I can to you guys as a makeup artist of 25 years. It's really important for me that you guys get the most out of your makeup and that you're learning something on this channel, but most importantly, that you're having fun with makeup. All right, everyone, I leave you here, but thank you so much for watching. If you like the content and you wanna support Shri Voyage, it's incredibly easy to do. All you need to do is subscribe and use the affiliate links down below. Every time you shop, I get a small commission. And if you don't want to shop at all, but you still want to support the channel, where you see the thumbs up, if you scroll over, you'll see a heart. You can donate to the channel. Every little bit helps me to continue to bring you guys education content and hopefully a little entertainment and fun. And if you haven't had enough, you can head over to Shri Voyage at my TikTok or my Instagram where I do mini tutorials, show you guys the latest and greatest and give you a sneak peek of my life as a professional makeup artist. And if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one to learn some artistry education, you can head over to shrivoyage.com. I have a list of lessons that you could choose from, whether you're beginning or all the way to advanced. All right, everybody, as always, continue to take care of yourselves, continue to take care of each other, continue to be kind to one another, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. All right, everyone, bye for now. Mm -hmm.